Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to give you a demo of how you should prep and apply for the new uh, wheel coating. No official name yet. It's most likely going to be in the ceramic acrylics lineup because it uses ceramic acrylics technology. And um, it's very easy to use. Uh, there's no real crazy dramatic prep or cure time needed other than about well one hour is the cure time so let's get started i'm doing a rinseless wash on this today and i'm using the grip launch rinseless wash which i already have prepared in the bucket go ahead and move you to where you can see properly so this is a uh, 2018 ferrari 488 Italia spider So what I always recommend Before you put on any protective product or coating or whatever is uh, One of my stripper products. This happens to be stripper spray. So the first order of business is Spray everything down Tires and everything would benefit from this um, Brake calipers all of it and for this demo i'm not going to focus real hardcore on the wheel barrels i don't really care about that right now but literally once you spray it down just go to go to town with your brushes and your microfiber or whatever to clean everything up i mean this is the obvious step right get everything clean and when you're using the uh stripper spray the benefit is it is removing whatever is probably on there before so literally just go in to cleaning. I always use a, a black microfiber towel when I'm cleaning wheels. Um, that way if I get any tar or nastiness on the towel, I don't have to worry about whether it's a towel I used on the wheels when I use it on the paint. So black towels are always a good idea when you're doing wheels or doing engine bays or whatever um, you can use your little brush but for this demo I'm not going to be doing the calipers however this coating is awesome uh, for brake calipers as well just want to get the wheel cleaned up pretty good I always put my towel uh, through the spokes to better clean everything uh, I, I pretty regularly clean this uh, Ferrari up so it's definitely a car that is well maintained I'm also going to shoot a video of uh, the same client has a BMW X5 M which is his daily driver and for that situation um, I'm gonna also do a demo on and I'm going to bring you back to that car because I want you guys to see uh, the tremendous benefit of this stuff is that it resists brake dust and contaminants from bonding. So it not only is going to keep your wheels cleaner longer, but it's also going to protect from those contaminants uh, creating a problem for whatever the surface is, whether it's clear coat, powder coat, um, whatever. So it's going to keep those contaminants from causing any issues. Um, good rule of thumb, I mean I've got this wheel face really clean, but I'm just going to wipe it again with the stripper spray. Just give it a quick wipe. Just want to ensure you don't have anything that would prevent the coating from bonding to the wheel. So just a couple of, uh, and this, you know, if you're, if you're a consumer or an enthusiast that's just doing their own personal cars with this stuff, um, same application process, but if you're a pro, um, I would definitely offer this as an upgrade, especially for the winter time. Um, I'm doing, you know, as far as this product goes, uh, we are in October of 2018 currently, and um, the release on this will be spring of uh, 2019. But I'm doing the demo because I'm currently doing a promo in my group on Facebook, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation, uh, where I'm 
I mean, the product is ready. I've been testing it for over two years. The product is ready uh, to, to sell. I'm not quite done with the labels yet, but this is part of my 2019 lineup. So now that you've got the wheel clean and prepped, like I uh, was saying with the stripper spray, that's gonna prep the surface to allow the product to bond better. It has a priming catalyst in it, uh, also some pretty heavy duty degreaser and cleaning action, which is uh, stripping everything off there, which is gonna make for a better bond. So I always recommend shake this stuff up, and then when you take the lid off the jar, it's a cream, you'll have plenty on the lid and what I would do is I would set the uh, jar be to the side and I would put some on my foam applicator and then you literally just wipe it on every square inch. Now yes you can remove the wheels, yes you can apply it to um, the barrels, especially if the barrels are glossy. A lot of times I've seen trucks and that kind of thing, the barrels are uh, more of a textured surface. Uh, it does not take a lot of this stuff. Uh, in fact, thinner is better because you want, the most important part of this whole thing is the curing process, which takes about an hour with these. Um, it's not necessarily a problem if uh, the customer takes possession of the car again and then they go driving it within that hour. I just don't want you to touch it. I want the product to set properly uh, where it's at when it's applied. And then after that, you can let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes and let that haze happen. Now I'm all done with that wheel. Now I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes while I go do a couple more of the wheels, and then we'll be back and I'll show you the removal process. All right, boys and girls, we are back. Now, it's been about 30 minutes actually since I uh, did this particular wheel. Uh, it's probably gonna be called uh, ceramic acrylics wheel shield or something like that no official name yet still working on the labels and all of that anyway so it's been about 30 minutes since I applied the product which means it's about halfway cured at this point anyway but it needs another 30 minutes the reality is if you do the wheels first before you go into the interior or whatever or even do the outside your cure time is gonna be over before the customer picks the car up so, uh, or takes possession. You need a clean microfiber towel. Uh, this stuff can be tricky to remove if it's in direct sunlight, but it actually is okay to use in direct sunlight. Uh, I've used it lots of times with no issues. Uh, you basically just massage the haze off with your hands. And that's it. Now, this is the application and demo of the product. I'm actually going to show you how well it does on brake dust and you know keeping the contaminants off over time. I think my test car uh, for video's sake is going to be, like I mentioned earlier, the BMW X5M that this customer uh, actually has. And I see the car I probably do his cars every three weeks or so and uh, the benefit to that is it gives us enough time to really see how well the product holds up but that's it that's it guys it's super buttery smooth um, and you'll notice that the brake dust won't accumulate as fast and when it does accumulate over time it's not going to harm uh, the finish now Regular maintenance is definitely a good idea. Uh, you can use the Ceram Acrylics uh, Hybrid Boost to boost the protection. It is not the same as far as protective ability as this coating. Uh, this was specifically designed to resist um, corrosion and brake dust and pitting and 
um, all of those things that will make your wheels look bad over time. Uh, it also resists salt very well, uh, but that's it. I mean, it's not a complicated process. Uh, the, the two ounce jar will be $59.99. You may use a quarter of an ounce, if, if you will, on an entire uh, set of four wheels, and that's barrels and everything. Again, less is more when it comes to this product. I do recommend hand application uh, with a foam applicator to get the, um, the best spread. With this product, you want thin, uh, but it wipes off with ease, no issues in the sun. I am in a shaded area right now, but that's how you apply it. Uh, it will absolutely harden and resist uh, micro marring from washing and that kind of thing. I mean, that's what it's for, to protect the wheels from damage from contaminants. So if you want your wheels to be cleaner longer and resist contamination, which potentially could cause future problems, the Ceram Acrylics Wheel Shield is what you need. So that's it. That's what's going on, and uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys taking the time to uh, watch these videos and listen to me babble. But if you got questions about the Ceram Acrylics Wheel Shield, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Oh, and remember, this product will be live on DetailJuice.com most likely March 1st, 2019. Or... If you contact me, I can get you some quicker than that so you can do some testing. Have a great day, guys.